Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing another My Hero Academia Ultra Impact video. This video is going to be talking about collaborations and the different type of collaborations that I would probably like to see in Ultra Impact. Or the other question is, should Ultra Impact even see collaborations? Uh, we are going to be using the wiki here as a little background just kind of because. So huge shout out to Mr. Hydros for making these beautiful wiki for us. The link will be in the description. And by the way, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to sub. We are gonna be covering all the Ultra Impact content that comes out for the game up to all the way to the release and after that. So I'm just gonna get my channel ready and going for when the game actually releases for these next two months. Uh, we have a lot of different fun uploads on the channel. So, you know, definitely make sure to tune in and yeah, any support definitely means the world, boys. So right now, let's go ahead and discuss what collabs I would like to see and asking my question, asking you the question, should we see collaborations in My Hero Academia Ultra Impact? The answer is yes, yes, yes. I do think Ultra Impact should get collaborations. Reason why is because as big as the My Hero app IP app is, fortunately, there's always gonna be a time where they're gonna run out of source material because oh it's not like my hero is like a super duper long series by any means. I mean right now we're at like 300 chapters, which is good, but um, how many freaking Deku's can you make, right? And how many like Bakugos and stuff like that can you make? So I think adding collaborations into Ultra Impact would be pretty interesting. Obviously, the game who is like the king at that is Grand Cross, for sure. You know, and Disgaea. Disgaea also, Disgaea RPG has also done a couple collabs here and there that are pretty good. And obviously, these are a bunch of different gacha games that are also grabbing uh, the Seven Deadly Sins IP. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at like ReZero for example, right? I feel like ReZero has been thrown all over the place uh, for the most part, right? You know, uh, we'll just use this for an example. That's my boy, uh, amazing. But you know, like ReZero's collab has been very, very good. It was definitely very, it was something very needed for the game. It just adds a couple extra weeks of this content, dude. It just adds like a couple weeks of content where you don't really have to worry too much about it. And I think, uh, you know, it's pretty good for the most part having something like that. Um, for, you know, for, for a game. And, you know, My Hero Ultra Impact could definitely get different types of collabs. I don't think it's gonna necessarily be, I mean, like, re, I mean, they could do ReZero and other animes, but I don't know if, like, they would ever do something like that personally, right? Uh, for the most part, we don't, I don't see Ultra Impact going to, like, different animes, but maybe games, um, you know, what, like, I don't even, actually, yeah, it has to be animes, right? I think a ReZero collab in My Hero would personally work. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, I, Seven Deadly Sins, possibly. But again, I, merging two, I, I, the thing is, has Bandai ever really done that? I don't think Bandai's ever really done like collabs in any of their games, like for the most part. Cause like, usually Bandai grabs like the real big ones, right? You get like, you know, you have, you know, Dokkan, you have Legends, um, which neither of those have ever really done collabs. So I don't think Ultra Impact will actually get collabs when I think about it now, but it's definitely still a food for thought type of video. Uh, is if like Ultra Impact needs it. Uh, do I think they need it? It would help, but maybe they could just do like collabs with other Bandai Namco like gacha games, right? But again, that it's it's Shonen's are a bit different, I guess, because like ReZero and like Seven Deadly Sins and stuff like that. Def like those IPs definitely could use collabs. My Hero is very big and I feel like it doesn't necessarily need a collaboration, but I feel like it could help in the long run. Um, with like, just like longevity for the game, which is another big topic that I have, is like kind of like the longevity of, you know, Ultra Impact uh, as a whole. I feel like it could definitely last a long time, but I feel like it could definitely not last a long time. Um, but it's still up to debate um, if we still like if because there's a question of does it need it or does it not need it. That's definitely it. And I feel like it. it I feel like every game could always uh, get more success from collab. So I feel like Ultra Impact could definitely use it and like, you know run with it for sure. Um, but I think that would be pretty interesting for the most part if they decided to go ahead and do something like that because again Having that type of content um, Definitely, you know create more morale for the player base You have more something interesting to summon on you don't want to summon on those type of units You're gonna want to summon on different seasonals and stuff like that. So I definitely feel like it could definitely work uh, But I could also see it not working and I totally understand it not working as well. So um but that's kind of just like my thoughts on the matter. I feel like they sh they can if they want to, but if they don't want to, I think it's fine. It's not that it's not the end of the world if they don't want to do it, right? It's not the end of the world. Um, but for the most part, I would definitely like to see that uh, implemented in the game at some point. Seeing some type of, you know, I don't know, some chibi models. Because uh, like the thing is, Ultra Impact has like some really dope models, 
and it would be pretty cool to see different games with those models you know you guys get what i'm saying like it could definitely be something pretty coolish so um yeah that's pretty much all i have for this video for the most part uh if you guys enjoyed hit that like so definitely let me know in the comments below if you would want to see ultra impact do collaborations with other gacha games and kind of stuff like that and yeah so i will be seeing you guys for the next my hero academia ultra impact video and check you guys later for the next one which is probably gonna be the longevity and how long i think it could last so we'll talk about that in the next one see you guys later bye